Hi, we're here with John Kennedy, who is the Senior Manager of Sustainable Analysis Products at Autodesk. Thanks for being here. Sure, Karen, my pleasure. Thanks for having me. You're glad to have you here. So, what are some of the challenges your industry is facing today? Well, Karen, the um, construction industry uh, is in one of its biggest turmoil things in history with the climate crisis that's going on, the energy costs that are skyrocketing, scarcity of resources, the financial crisis. It's essentially a perfect storm for this industry. And we've seen construction drop off in the past year since the financial crisis. And that's coupled with um, you know, increasing energy costs. Mm -hmm. And what uh, the industry is struggling with now, coupled with uh, stimulus packages that are being put out there, is really aggressive energy efficiency requirements in the building sector, and particularly targeted at existing buildings, which there's hundreds of millions of existing buildings on the planet. Um, but it's also a big opportunity for the industry right. to essentially change how they do building design, building renovation and retrofits, to actually really turn the whole situation around by creating green jobs and um, making buildings very efficient by solving a variety of those problems simultaneously. So that stimulus money from governments actually goes to improving buildings' energy use. The savings on those energy bills goes to paying for those improvements, mm -hmm. paying for labor, green jobs, uh, paying for manufacturers' products to be installed in those buildings so it stimulates the manufacturing sector. So it's a great opportunity for governments to really turn the situation around in a really positive way mm -hmm. and solve multiple problems simultaneously. No, I never thought, of, as you were saying, it is a perfect storm. Yeah, it is. It is a perfect storm. All right, so how does it intersect with the world of Autodesk? Well, a lot of the type of analysis that uh, uh, architects and engineers do on buildings to make them efficient typically took weeks worth of work. Mm -hmm. And they were typically done on the largest buildings, and because which they had the biggest budgets to pay for those type of analyses to be done. And what Autodesk products are doing is they're making that whole workflow much easier. So it's much more cost effective for them to do it on smaller projects. So if we look at the total projects that they typically did it on, these large buildings, that represents 1% of buildings out there. Mm -hmm. And if we're going to solve these problems, we have to really address the 99% of buildings. So we're allowing uh, these practitioners to actually reach a much larger market, much more cost effectively while making these typical projects that they work in much more cost effective and profitable. Very good. So what are some of the real world applications? Well, one of the exciting ones, um, because we have so many existing buildings that we need to go through this process, is the, the ability to actually capture the geometry of the building using digital photographs. Mm -hmm. And this is with an Autodesk image modeler where uh, the practitioner can go out and take pictures of a building or have someone on site take pictures of the building. And from that, they can actually create a 3D model from that, mm -hmm. enter it into our building information modeling systems and our sustainable design tools, and within a very short time actually be doing these sophisticated analyses on existing buildings using Autodesk Image Modeler, Autodesk Revit, Autodesk Ecotech Analysis, and Autodesk Green Building Studio. Mm -hmm. And we've assembled one of the largest weather uh, data sets on the planet. Weather data sets? Exactly, huh. yeah. In order to do these analyses, you need weather data that's local to where the building is and more relevant to when this billing history you're comparing it to uh, has occurred. And so we have about five terabytes of weather data that's covering the planet hmm. with hourly weather data for doing these analyses. Wow. So we're putting all the data and all the software in place to allow the practitioners to really rapidly change the situation so we can create all these jobs and you know, get people back to work. Yep, that's great. So how do we find out more about sustainable design? Well, I would, the best place is on our website. And so if you went to www.autodesk.com forward slash sustainability, that will be, you know, you're entering a threshold of a lot of information about sustainability across a variety of our products, not just with the built environment, but the infrastructure um, environment as well. And so there's, there's a variety of products that are targeted for this, and our website's probably the best location, or your local Autodesk reseller. Great. So just let me ask you, what is uh, the most exciting part of your job for you right now, would you say? I would say it's just the feeling good about creating solutions that are going to improve the world. 
and at a time when the world really needs it. Yep. Yep. Well, good. Thank you so much for joining us. Sure. Thank you, Karen. Mm -hmm. And thank you for joining us.